it's Matt coming at you with another Planet Coaster Park Spotlight. Thank you for joining me, welcome to the video, and welcome to Planet Coaster Goes Hollywood, a multi-platform contest spanning all three platforms. We have 24 submissions to look at, and all 24 parks are set in a 60 by 60 area. All parks must have at least one coaster and three flat rides, and all the parks have been checked and are all within the parameter of the rules. For today's showcase, we will be looking at Gotham, created by Mad Catter. Now, the description for this park reads, Welcome to Gotham City, where the villains have taken control. Based on the characters of Batman of various films and TV series, three flat rides and three coasters to enjoy. Sorry for the incomplete areas, I don't get the free time I once had, but I had a blast building this for Matty's contest. Hope you still have fun wandering Gotham. So, really excited for this. I love Mad Cadder's work. I'm really pleased that you still entered, despite the fact that you didn't have much time. So, thank you so much for that. But without further ado, let's hop in and have a look around, shall we? Right, so here we are at the park entrance. Now, it was pointed out to me in the Christopher Noland spotlight that i didn't take the opportunity to say i'm batman so i'm gonna use that opportunity right now in a gotham park who the hell do you think you are i'm batman there you go i hope you're all happy now right anyway so we're in the park i love that center water feature right there we come through into the guest services really nice interior just inside there and then just over the other side, we've got the Gotham Cinema. So, Villains of Gotham. Adult $60. Is it really that much in America? It can't be. It can't be $60 for a cinema ticket. It can't be. That's extortion. That's daylight robbery. You've got to be joking. Because of Joker, Batman, C. Okay, never mind. Anyway, let's move on. So... Let's come back through here. I really like this little interior just there with the cinema tickets. And I love this archway just as you come through into Gotham itself. That architectural design right there. That looks fantastic. We've got a burnt out car just to our left. We'd better make sure we go through the right ticket side. So through the electric scanners. And then through the turnstiles. And out into the park itself. And look at this. It really does feel like we're in a dark, dingy city like Gotham. Breaking news, but somebody smashed the screen up. Oh dear. And let's go left, shall we? So we've got three flat rides and three coasters to go on. We've got a pizzeria just there to our right. Let's have a quick look inside there. Just a nice little interior, a little seating area. Some screens on the wall. And then you've got a little backstage area just over here with some rubbish. All the bin bags and cardboard boxes. Staff only. Well, I'm staff. And you've got a staff room back there. I really like it when people do that when they put their staff rooms around the back of the parks. Just adds so much more realism to a park. And what have we got here? So we've got a block of toilets. We've got the ladies. Yes, I'm going to have a quick look. Ignore me. I'm coming in. Love this. You've got the sinks all there. You've got all the cubicles. And we'll have a quick look in the men's, which I assume is next door. Yes, it is. So let's have a quick look in here as well. I wonder if you've done the urinals for the men's. Oh, you have, Luke. You've actually built urinals. That's amazing. Right. And what have we got around here? We've got another burnt car just there. We've got a... What looks like a ride exit here? What is this? Oh, this is cool. So this must be Poison Ivy. So where is the entrance for that? Have I already walked past that, do we think? Am I skipping part of the park to have a look at this? Most likely. What have we got? Oh, this has got to be Poison Ivy. So we have Hypnotic. Let's have a look down the queue line. Oh, wow. You really ramped it up as you went through the queue line. That's a fantastic flat ride skin. Even as a non-Batman fan, if you're aware of who Poison Ivy is, you would have a good idea what that ride would be. Yeah, I really liked that. And then we have Enigma. So, of course, the Riddler. So, let's have a look down here. And we've got a 
Gertschlauer Infinity Coaster by the looks of it. So let's have a walk down the queue line. And up to the ride. And let's hop on for the first ride of the park, shall we? Enjoy everyone. You can't get much smoother than that. That was smooth as butter, that ride. Wow, what a first ride of the park. It gave me Six Flags feels in the minimal theming, how Six Flags will just put their rides there and put absolutely no theming around them whatsoever. It had that kind of feel to it, but a fantastic coaster. Absolutely incredible. You didn't need scenery and theming around it because the coaster itself did all the talking for you. Yeah, great job. Really enjoyed that. So as we come out, so we've got a empty shop there. We'll bypass that because as Mad Cat has said in the description, he didn't have a lot of time for this park. And the fact that even though people did have minimal timing for this park, the people who really did struggle with time have still taking the time to actually make something to submit to this park i'm really appreciative of that so thank you ever so much mad Cadder. i'm so glad you took part anyway and i know what you are capable of i've seen some of your best work and it's incredible and even as a quick thrown together together project this is still fantastic so we have the joker we've got a rmc single rail basilisk coaster I love the look of this. I'm not a fan of Basilisk Coasters. I've said that many a times before. I think it's no secret that I don't like Basilisk Coasters. But this one looks absolutely sensational. I believe one of only two Basilisks in the entire contest as well. So let's hop on for the second ride of the park. Enjoy everyone. As with the Gertschlauer, again, that was fantastic. And I would actually say, despite the fact that I don't like Basilisk coasters, that is the best one I've been on on the console. That was sensational. Smooth as butter once again. Smooth as silk. Smooth as a baby's bum. 
Yeah, absolutely great job. I love the lighting and the ambience around it. Fantastic ride so far. And we've still got one more coaster to go on in this spotlight. And if it's anything like them last two, I'm really excited to get to it. So we've got a ice cream parlor just here. Again, a nice, simple, effective little interior just there. And let's carry on, shall we? So I wonder who the third villain is. I wonder if that's it over there. Well, judging from the colouring, it's going to have to be Penguin. It must be. So we've had the Riddler, we've had Joker, we've had Poison Ivy, we've got Harvey Dent, Chance and Justice. And what have we got inside here? Oh, look at this. So we've got an actual full courtroom inside here with the chandeliers at the top. Yep, very nice. Very clever with the Harvey Dent, of course, with him being a uh, law attorney. You just need... Well, I guess the ride would like represent the flipping coin as well. That works really well. And I assume over here, this must be the third flat ride that you were talking about. So we have the... I don't know who that is. Switchblade. Is that Raz al Ghul, maybe? Maybe a, a reference to the League of Shadows or something? Let's have a look down here. I've got no idea what this would be. We've got all the Roman numerals on the side. And there is our third and final flat ride. Again, a really nice flat ride skin once again. You really have nailed the feel of Gotham in this park. It does feel very dark and dingy, but in the way that Gotham is supposed to, dark and dingy is not meant as a insult to the park. It's a credit to the fact that you've made this feel like Gotham. Oh, what a shot right there with the moon right between the buildings. And this must be the third and final coaster then. So March of the Cobblepot. So Penguin. Let's have a look down here. Oh, look at the lighting. It's almost like Mr. Freeze down here. With the white and blue lighting. So we've got our final coaster of the park. Really, really excited for this. So without further ado, let's hop on and go for a ride, shall we? Enjoy, everybody. When it comes to actual coaster design, take everything else away. Take away the theming, take away the story, take away the film idea, and just think about the coasters only. This submission, in my opinion, has the best coasters of the entire contest. All three of them were sensational. I could see all three of them rides actually existing in real life in a theme park in something like six flags or universal or something they were all that good incredible work i loved all three of them really really enjoyed that so as we come down through the exit here i believe this brings us back to the main entrance of the park so quite a small park this one but three amazing coasters really enjoyed this one so let's go into our closing thoughts shall we 
So there we have Gotham created by Mad Cadder. And don't let the simplicity of this park bypass you. The coasters were fantastic. If this was a coaster contest, you would be right up there at the very top as a potential winner right now i loved all three of them i know what you are capable of and as i said earlier i'm just so thankful that you still took the time to enter into this contest so great job i really enjoyed that one so the voting will open after all the submissions have been shown and remember to leave a note of your favorite submissions make sure to leave a like on the video to show some support to today's amazing creator mad Cadder. thank you so much for watching and i'm going to be back tomorrow with another planet coaster goes hollywood submission Take care, stay safe, look after yourselves, and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye, everybody!